Hello friends, this is Alex. In this video, I am going to teach you the basic modes and settings of ventilators. In a hospital, there may be different types of ventilators you may see, but the basic modes and settings will be almost same. But there is a change in the operating system, depends on the company. So, there may be an operating system different in the Nelcor to Mindrake ventilator and it may be different from the Vista to Mindrake. So different different not of companies are there like how we are using mobile phones. Okay, like Android software will be different from the iOS. Okay, so like the basic modes and settings what we are going to learn today is I will just uh, tell you in a very brief way. So follow me. So how to use uh, ventilators? Why? What is the use? What is the purpose for using the ventilator? We know already in a end stage or when the patient needs a requirement of continuous oxygen supply and when patient is not able to take the oxygen means already lungs in a collapsed state or in a lung respiratory failure cases or there are lot of indication I am not going to uh, tell you all the indication contraindications but what is the main treatment goals for while you are using a ventilator. So, to maintain the adequate oxygenation, okay, how, how by maintaining the PaO2 and SpO2, SpO2 saturation, oxygen saturation percentage, and to give the proper ventilation, how means by maintaining the proper pH in the blood, okay, and to give the pH, uh, comfort, okay, and uh, try the weaning, okay, weaning trials. So these are your treatment goals when you are using your ventilator, okay. So you need to remember, you need to keep in your mind, these are the treatment goals. You need to achieve these goals. At the end, if patient is performing well, you need to try for the wean off. Okay, so to extubate. And may, in this, what are the main modes and settings? Mainly two, two types will be there, volume and pressures. Okay, you need to maintain the lung volume and lung pressures. If there is no volume in the lung, you need to give external volume support. If there is a no pressure pressure in the lungs, then you need to maintain a uh, pressure support. Give the external pressure support. These are the two main modes. Okay. And how to maintain all these modes, uh, settings or means by reading or measuring the ABG or a VBG uh, from the patient blood and uh, uh, by seeing the SPO2 in the monitor okay patients monitor so based on the abg values or spo2 values in the monitor you need to change the you need to adjust uh, adjust the settings or a modes of the ventilator okay and uh, try a different mode so this is a common uh, scenario uh, while using the ventilator what you need to do you need to remember the treatment goals okay and uh, you should know the modes and the settings okay how to change the settings and modes on which basis you need to change on which basis based on the abg values or vbg values or a spo2 values in the patient's monitor okay before moving to the further so what are the common terminologies you will see in the ventilator okay so things to know what are the things to know to set the goals to uh, to reach the goals and to operate the ventilator means there are lot of terminologies will be there when you on a ventilator on a screen you will see so many letters okay so many numbers okay so don't confuse at least try to remember these four five to six terminologies that is tidal volume you need to rem you need to know what is tidal volume what is fio2 and what is respiratory rate rr respiratory rate what is ie ratio okay inspiratory expiratory ratio and what is peep positive end expiratory pressure and what is minute ventilation and what is idle body weight and what is that trigger. So these are the common terminologies you will see on the ventilator screen. Okay, when you are on this ventilator screen. So these all tidal volume, FIO2, P, respiratory rate, triggers, all these things will be displayed on the uh, ventilator screen. Don't get confused. Okay, and again two, two times it will be displayed. One one time, one time on a one side uh, there will be a ventilator values which you are giving okay you will set a tidal volume of 450 and another side you will see a 
uh, patient values how much patient is generating or how much ventilator is giving okay how much patient is taking like ventilator machine values on one side and one on another side patient values are a top and bottom or maybe a graphical way there is a different uh, types will be there based on that operating system of the ventilator okay these are the things to know what is tidal volume tidal volume is nothing but the volume of air is insp inspiring or in a expiratory uh, okay in each breath during the breathing okay how much volume he is inspire is taking or he is exhaling in each breath that is called tidal volume usually you will set tidal volume 4 to 6 uh, ml per kg okay like that based on the uh, body weight you will set the tidal volume okay for example if you use a 70 kg of male you will set around 450 ml of tidal volume okay like the tidal volume you will set the volume uh, which will be expelling and ins inspiring in each breath FiO2 is a fractional inspired oxygen okay FiO2 also set based on the PaO2 ratio okay PaO2 ratio how you will calculate uh, PE ratio sorry PE ratio based on the PE ratio you will calculate FiO2 you will set how, how means PaO2 divided by FiO2 okay so like that you need to set usually you will start from the 100 okay FiO2 you need to maintain 100 initially so based on the ABG values and based on the SpO2 values in the world slowly you will decrease the FiO2 and respiratory rate 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 should be maintained between the uh, 12 to uh, 20 usually 12 to 18 also you can say in some cases depends on the clinical condition you, you you need to adjust the respiratory rate FiO2 and tidal volumes also okay and uh, in some cases uh, you need to maintain on a lower side respiratory rate in some extreme conditions like COVID pneumonia ARDS all these cases you need to set high rate okay around 18 to 20 like that that is a respiratory rate and IE ratio also IE ratio inspiratory expiratory ratio how many inspiration should take okay and how many inspira uh, expressions okay inspire uh, that is usually you will set 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 is the normal uh, normal you will keep this is also based on the clinical condition it may vary sometimes uh, reverse IE ratio will be there inspirations more expression less okay so that is a IE ratio 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 also you can keep and P positive and expiratory pressure what is P positive and expiratory pressure so what is this P? Usually you will keep 4 to 5 or 6 also you can keep 4 to 5 or 4 to 5 4 to 6 you can keep this positive and expiratory pressure. So this P uh, maintains the not to close the alveoli completely. Okay it opens the alveoli. So that is the uh, use of this P respiratory FiO2 usually you will set it uh, start with the 100% tidal volume based on the body weight based on the ideal body, body weight okay suppose 70 kg person usually you will keep 450 okay like that ideal body weight what is ideal body weight usually you take ideal body weight suppose for 50 kg okay for a 5 feet male okay male how to calculate ideal body weight for male uh, for 5 feet person 50 kg is ideal okay but if uh, if a person male is more than 5, 5 feet okay for each inch for 1 inch you need to add 2.3 kgs to the plus 50 okay more above the above 5 feet if you above 5 feet for each inch you need to add 2.3 kgs in a man if it is a female 45.5 per 5 feet is normal then more than the 5 feet for each 1 inch okay you need to add 2.3 okay 45.5 so that is the calculation of ideal body weight ideal body weight trigger also how, uh, how many breaths are generating okay for each breath how much of air is uh, flowing how much of air is flowing so there is a time trigger will be there cycle triggers will be there okay patient triggers like this there is a different types of triggers also there so these are the common five, five to six terminologies you will see on the ventilator screen so tidal volume fio2 uh, respiratory rate ie ratio 
people minute ventilation i have idle body weight triggers so if you remember these things if you know the, all these things at least basics you can operate the ventilators easily so next we will see the main main topic is modes okay you will have a three types of modes will be there in any ventilator usually the names may be different but these uh, modes are uh, permanent okay so modes uh, first one is assisted assist mode okay assist or control modes and second type of mode is mandatory modes and third type of mode is spontaneous modes so these are the three types of main modes will be there in the ventilator in the assisted what is happening mainly assist or control you can say in this type of uh, mode when we will set this type of mode means when the patient's lungs are completely in a not working state okay the only mission has to do the main work or when immediately intubated in that situation first start with the assist modes okay in this also what is assist what is control the two things also important when patient is initiating breath when trigger is there okay then ventilator only assist okay when ventilator assists the patient it gives the help when patient is in a not, not able to position to trigger the breath when uh, he is not when the patient is not initiating the breath then ventilator automatically goes into the control mode control mode okay in this what are the types of uh, uh, ventilations will be there type these are the types of ventilators i told uh, ventilations i told you already volume and pressure these only two types in any type of mode these are the two types okay types of ventilations so mainly we need to maintain the volume or a pressure here suppose if you want to maintain a volume to that particular patient what what you will select in a ventilator v a c volume assist control okay volume assist control mode volume assist control mode so in the vsc mode what you need to set mainly you need to focus on the volume okay for that what you have to see you need to set the respiratory rate tidal volume volume the name itself suggests tidal volume respiratory rate and tidal volume main things and fio2 okay fio2 and peep okay so there is no pressure here okay we are mainly focusing on the rate tidal volume fio2 peep so these are the three, three things will be important and as well as ie ratio okay so these uh, parameters you need to focus in a volume control mode vsc mode and next in a assisted assist control modes pc okay pressure we are, we are going to focus on the pc so in pc in a psc mode so if you want to uh, support pressure to the patient so what what mode you will say psc pressure assist control mode pressure assist a control mode so here mainly we are giving a we are uh, we will set the we will focus on the pressure pressure things okay what is happening so again we will set rate no tidal volume okay pressure okay next p and i ratio okay if i want to is common because oxygenation we have to maintain if we want to maintain proper oxygenation respiratory rate and fi o2 is very very important pressure pressure usually you will set less than 30 okay so so the uh, there is no tidal volume okay so there is no tidal already volume is there volume is generating by the patient so we are supporting in a pressure so that's why psc mode pressure assist control mode psc mode okay what are the Mm, complications in a vsc vsc mode only we are giving more volume tidal volume we are setting volume so there is no pressure so watch for the pressure okay there is a complication called barotrauma okay so and in a psc mode uh, what what may, uh, we are not focusing about the we are not uh, giving the volume so there is a complication called volume trauma okay more pressure no volume 
so value trauma so these are the two complications may may happen okay so this is about uh, assist control modes assist control are high superior level of modes so when a patient's lungs in a not in a position to work properly or a, so in the initial stage first we will start with the assist control modes like vac modes psc modes okay volume and con uh, pressure uh, control modes okay mandatory next mandatory type the, in a previously there are different types of imvs will be there okay and uh, mandatory ventilations all used to be there in mandatory now mostly we will use simv synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilations synchronized the name itself suggests synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilations it means so there is a synchronization between the patient's breath and the ventilator breath so there is a synchron if patient is not delivering breath machine will give if machine uh, if patient is give, delivering one breath then next breath will be given by the ventilator so without uh, uh, means uh, giving more pressure to the patient so there is a synchronization between the patient to the uh, ventilation so that is called synchronized uh, mandatory ventilation here also two types volume and pressure vsimv psimv okay two types same we will uh, focus on if you same all these parameters tidal volume fio2 respiratory ie peep all these things if a pressure forget about the tidal volume focus on all these things okay and next spontaneous types and here nothing but so if um, I, i forgot to tell you initially you need to see whether it is a invasive ventilation or non invasive ventilation okay all these type mainly you will set in the invasive types invasive type of ventilation is nothing but when a patient is already intubated by a means endotracheal tube vt tube or if a patient is having a tracheostomy okay then that is already is having invasive procedure so directly we are giving a oxygenation or ventilation support through the lung to the lungs through the uh, this device a ct tube or a tracheostomy that is invasive ventilation sir okay uh, and suppose if it is niv non invasive so in niv we will support to the we will give a oxygenation by the external mask support okay the in that there is a different uh, uh, settings or modes will be there like a, mainly will give by a cpap or bipap or duo levels these are the three types will be there cpap continuous pass to airway pressure will be there okay bipap and duo level these also will be there in the cpap or bipap also mainly we will focus on the pass to airway pressure pass to airway pressure we are focusing on the pressure so we will set the respiratory rate FIO2 peak and pressure. Okay, if you want tidal volume also. So these are the things commonly you will see in the types and settings of the ventilation. Okay, so this is just a brief introduction, and I mentioned about the ABG also. If you if you want a full detailed class about ABG, check out my link. Okay, you will have a ABG sessions and some of the ventilator. Uh, classes also thank you so much if you like my content please like comment share and subscribe my channel thank you